we are starting a new standard called coordinate geometry and in this video we're going to be finding the length of lines on a coordinate plane. So recall that the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So find the missing side length of the right triangle. We have a right triangle with sides 8 and 6 and we would be solving for the hypotenuse here. So the hypotenuse is C. So you do 8 squared plus 6 squared equals C squared. And then 8 squared is 64 and 6 squared is 36. So 64 plus 36 is going to equal C squared. And then 64 plus 36 is equal to 100. That's going to equal C squared. Take the square root of both sides. So C is going to be the square root of 100. And the square root of 100 is 10. So the question mark is going to be 10 units. So that would be the side length of the question mark. So how would we find the side length of the following line segments? We have a vertical line and then we have a horizontal line and it's on a coordinate plane. So all you do, it's very simple, is you just count. One, two, three, four, five. So this line segment is five units long. Same thing with the horizontal line. You count how many units? One, two, three, four, so it's five units long. Very easy. How would we find the line segment if we have a diagonal line? So what you want to do first, since it's very easy to find the length of horizontal and vertical lines, we're going to use our knowledge of the Pythagorean theorem and then what I just talked about with the horizontal and vertical lines and we're going to make right triangles and that way we can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the length of this line because we don't know the coordinates and we could use a ruler but what if we don't have a ruler so I'm going to make a right triangle here I'm going to make that vertical line and then that horizontal line. And now I'm just going to count those units for my horizontal and vertical lines. So my vertical line is four units and then my horizontal line is three units. So the to find the side length or the length of this line right here, I created a right triangle because it's on a coordinate grid. And so to solve that, you do 4 squared plus 3 squared. That's going to equal C squared because C is our, is our hypotenuse, and that's our question mark. So that's 16 plus 9 equals C squared. 16 plus 9 is 25. That's going to equal C squared. You take the square root of both sides. So C is going to be the square root of 25, which is equal to 5. So the length of our question mark is five, five units. 